Okay, so I hope I am audible. So hello everyone. This is lecture four on computer networks, and in this lecture we are going to start uh, how error detection or correction is done. Okay, so in the previous lecture we have discussed how error uh, error detection uh, is more uh, beneficial than error correction. So error detection and retransmission is better than error correction. Okay, so now question arises how error detection. Or error correction is done. Okay, is done. So for that, let me build some background and then we will start this topic. Okay, so how error detection or correction is done? We will study this now. So yeah. So uh, any doubt till now or uh, my voice is clear? Please let me know. Yes, sir, it is clear. No doubts. Yes, sir. Okay, okay then. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, we will make some background. and then we will start our class okay so what is the background see uh, actually from sender we uh, sender is sending large amount of data okay on what data looks like it look like binary data so actually if sender wants to send uh, data then it will not send this data as it is okay it will not send it as it is so what it will do it will first divide the data into fixed and equal size parts okay divide data into fixed and equal size parts okay and these fixed and equal size parts are known as data words parts called data words okay Called data words. Okay, so for example, uh, I can take size of two. Okay, so if I take size of two, then one zero one zero one 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 zero one one zero one one like this. So it will divide this data into uh, fixed and equal size parts. And let us suppose size is two. Now what it will do? Now it will not send this one zero as it is. Okay, so it will add some redundant bits to it. add some redundant bits to it redundant bits to it okay and these redundant bits are also known as uh, you can say the extra bits okay redundant means extra okay and let's take uh, one extra bit okay one extra bit so are you getting it so uh, first uh, if sender wants to send this large amount of data so what it will do it will divide it into fixed and equal size parts called data words okay and let let data word size is 2 bits okay let dw size is equal to 2 bits okay and now add some redundant bit to it and let's add one extra bit okay and resulting structure or resulting um, is known as uh, or resulting word is known as code word okay resulting word is called cw cw means code word code word so now in place of sending this data word sender will send this code word are you getting it so let me give you the idea so two bits now i what i have said data word is of two bits Data word is of two bits, so what is the possibility zero 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 one one zero one one? Okay, there are only four possibility. So now I have added one extra redundant bit. Okay, one extra bit, which uh, or we can say redundant bit, and finally what we are getting is code word. So resulting code word can be zero 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 one 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 zero one. One one zero. Forget about it. How I have written it. You just uh, try to follow the point that we have added one extra bit, or called redundant bit, and finally what we have got code word. So code word length will be of three bits now. Two bit of data word and one extra bit is added. Two plus one is three. So here I have written code word of size three. Okay. So now in place of sending this data word, sender will send this code word. Okay. So now in place of in place of sending dw sender will send cw 
sender will send CW. Okay. So now, first of all, uh, let me formally introduce uh, the topic. This topic is block coding. Okay. This is known as block coding. So, what do you mean by block coding? In block coding, uh, data. Uh, you can say the entire data which sender wants to send is divided into fixed and equal size parts called data words. You can call them as block also. That's why we are calling it as block coding. Okay. So we have uh, uh, divided the data into blocks. Okay. So divide data into fixed and equal size parts called data word uh, and then add some redundant bit and make code word. So now in place of sending this data word, sender will send the code word. I think this is clear to everybody. So please take snapshot of this slide. done yes. okay and this also done yes, sir. okay so now in place of sending data word sender will send code word so what is the use why we are doing all these things okay so first of all if data word is sent as it is now if sender wants to send zero zero and by chance uh, due to some noise and all some noise came okay and it becomes zero one so zero one will be received by receiver. Sender sends zero zero, and receiver has received zero one. That means there is an error. But how receiver will detect it? That is the biggest problem. So let me tell you some more uh, idea. Okay. So what exactly is happening here? So see this. For example, uh, zero 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 one one zero one one. Okay. So for example, I say zero zero is A. Then this is B. This is C, and this is D. Okay. So uh, sender wants to send bad B A D B A D bad. So for that, what it will send zero uh, one. Then for A it will send zero zero, and for D it will send double one. Okay, so this will be sent by sender to receiver. If if code word etc is not used, okay. So if sender wants to send bad, it will send this thing. Okay, so now what is how receiver will uh, interpret it? So receiver also has the same thing. Okay, so sender is having this thing. Sender is having this and receiver is also having the same thing. So now after receiving it, what it will do? It will simply say it will simply match the table. It will take 0, 1. It will say, OK, I have received B, 0, 0. OK, I have received A, double 1. OK, I have received D. So receiver will say, OK, I have received the bad. Are you getting it? So I'm just giving you the idea what exactly th how exactly things are done. So now. If, for example, I say zero zero uh, in place of zero zero, uh, receive, uh, sender was, has sent zero zero, receiver has received zero one. So now, what exactly it has received? So zero one as it is now in place of zero zero, it has received zero one and then one one. So it will say okay B and then again B and then again D. So you have sent B A D, but receiver has received B B D, and there is no way out. There is no way that receiver can detect the error. Okay, because they, we, uh, we have done nothing now. Nah? So uh, obviously the, the basic fact here is that 00, zero was a uh, you can say data word. It, it was a valid data word. Similarly, 00, zero has converted to zero 01 or uh, because of noise and all. So now zero 01 is also a valid data word now. Nah? Are you getting it? Zero, 00 is a valid data word. Zero 01 is also a valid data word. So now receiver cannot predict that uh, some error has occurred or not so now in place of sending these data words if sender send this code word then see what will happen for example he want to send bad so for b it will send 0 double 1 for a it will send triple 0 and for d it will send double 1 0 now sender has sent this to the receiver and by chance sender so let me take this zero 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 and receiver has received say zero zero one okay sender has sent triple zero and receiver has received zero zero one so now what will happen what will happen receiver will receive zero double one and in place of triple zero it has received zero zero one and then one one zero so it will say zero zero one from the table it will say okay zero one one so it is nothing but your b now, as soon as it sees 0, 0, 001, it will match the table and it will not get 0, 0, 001 anywhere. Now it will say, yes, there is some error. Okay, so it will say 0, 0, 001 is not in my table. So this is an error. 
are you getting it so this is the basic logic of error detection so i hope you have got the exact feeling that how error detection is done so the basic idea now let me dive deep into this idea so what is the idea so if data word is of say n bits if n bit okay let me do it on the next slide it will be much better option please take snapshot then i will jump to the next slide done okay so what is the idea data word is of say n bits so total combinations possible will be 2 power n so i have to, just for the sake of simplicity i have taken two bits now actually there are these are not of two bits they are of multiple bits say 10 bit 20 bits uh, you can you want to send multiple data uh, kind of data na like a b c d up to z a to z 26 then capital a to capital z again 26 then 0 to 9 digits are also there then dollar symbol add the red symbol extra and so on there are many uh, many symbols which you want to send okay so there should be multiple bits so uh, for just for the sake of simplicity i have taken two bits only okay so now i am saying that data word is of say n bits so two power n combinations are possible now you have added say r redundant bits you have added r redundant bits so i have for the simplicity i have added only one redundant bit but uh, really uh, in uh, real life scenarios we will add multiple bits so i have added r redundant bits okay so now code word will be of uh, what length n plus r are you getting it data is n bit r redundant bits are added so code word will be of n plus r bits so now there is one to one correspondence na see this so uh, data word was 4 because of this two uh, two bits na so four so code word are also four which are valid so rest other are invalid so if by chance invalid is received only then you will be able to de detect the error like you may argue with me sir in place of 001 if it receives 011 then what will happen then i cannot detect the error as simple as that so triple 0 sender has sent triple 0 and receiver has received 011 then i cannot detect this error it's as simple as that okay so the only thing is when error will be detected when it will be a invalid code word okay so how many invalid code word will be there let me give you that idea also so code word is of 2 power 2 uh, uh, n plus r bits so total combinations for code word will be 2 power n plus r okay but in from 2 power n plus r only 2 power n will be valid na because there will be one to one correspondence between data word and code word see this number of data words and number of code word are same number of data word is 2 power n so number of code word will be also 2 power n which are which are valid rest other will be invalid so how many are invalid this type of simple numerical can be asked so 2 power n plus r minus 2 power n these are all invalid code word so now if by chance a yeah, receiver has received a invalid code word it will say that error has occurred but if by chance it has received a valid code word then i will say no error can uh, error is not detected okay so i hope uh, you have got the exact idea or logic behind how error detection is done if anybody is having any doubt you can ask me otherwise i will jump to the next slide yes any doubt No, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So now uh, this is the logic of error detection. Now let me give you idea of error correction also. So how error correction is done? Error correction. Okay. So for error correction, see error correction is bit difficult. I have told you, na, because uh, we have to find the position also. so here we will add more number of redundant bits okay so for example let data word is of 2 bits and say three redundant bits are added there we have added only one redundant bit so here i am adding three redundant bits and see and uh, you might ask sir how you have got it don't worry have some patience i will get uh, i will give you proper idea about how this code word is designed and all okay this these all things are in gate syllabus so we will study that in proper detail don't worry okay so a uh, data word is of 2 bits and 3 redundant bits are added so code word will be of 3 plus 2 that is 5 bits okay so let me give you an idea data word and code word so data word 00011011 and code word is say 5 times 0 
and then we have zero one zero double one, then one zero one zero one, and then four times one and zero. Okay, so now in place of sending data word, we will send the code word. Okay, so now sender has send uh, sender wants to send double zero, so it will send how many zeros? Five zeros. It will send because it is the code word. So it will send. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, but uh, uh, because of some error in the medium or somewhere, so receiver has received this. So now receiver has received this, and it will first check all the four code words. So it it is not matching. So it will say, okay, there is some error. So now how correction will be done? So here uh, we will assume an optimistic approach. Optimistic approach means optimistic person is the one who always thinks positively. Pessimistic is the one who always thinks negative. Okay, so if somebody is pessimistic, then uh, if somebody buys a car and he will he is a pessimistic person, then he will say no, I will not drive the car because accident may happen and so on. So negative thinking persons are pessimistic, and positive thinking persons are uh, optimistic. So here we will uh, use optimistic approach. Okay, optimistic approach. So optimistic approach means you have to think positively. So you will say number of errors are minimum. Optimistic, na? Optimistic means number of errors are minimum. Are minimum. So since number of errors are minimum, so you will say okay. So and I have received uh, four times zero and one. So one by one, I will match it with this. So you will say okay. There is one bit gap, na? So one bit error. So now from if I match with this, I will say no. Two bit error. And if I match it with this, you will say no. Uh, how many bits error? Again, two bit error. If I match with this, then how many errors? Five bit errors. Okay, so you will say minimum number. So you will say okay. Code word was this only. Okay, so that means data sent will be zero zero only. Of course, it is not guaranteed, but uh, this is the only way how we can do error correction. Okay, rather there are multiple ways, but uh, I am just giving you a small idea that how error correction can be done, like this. Yes, anybody is having any doubt? Okay, yeah, so it's good. Please take snapshot, and then I will uh, introduce some formal terminology or mathematical terminology which will be asked in gate. So take snapshot. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we are going to introduce a term that is called as Hamming distance. So questions have been asked in gate from this topic. It is very simple topic. So what is Hamming distance? Hamming distance is represented like this: d of say one zero one 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 zero, or they will say d of one double zero comma zero double one. Like this, okay. So Hamming distance will be difference. You you just find the difference, okay. So one and one same, zero one different, one zero different. So two, Hamming distance is two. So here one zero, uh, one then one and then one. So three, Hamming distance is three, okay. So Hamming distance between two code word is the number of differences between the corresponding bits, okay. So let me write the definition. What is Hamming distance? Hamming distance between two. words between two words of same size that is very important line same size size should be same like here 3 and 3 3 and 3 okay so size should be same okay hamming distance between two words of same size is the number of is the number of differences number of differences between corresponding bits differences between corresponding bits okay so hamming distance between any two uh, core uh, any two words is represented like this so hamming distance between two words x and y hamming distance between two words x and y is denoted by d of xy like this so i have written here also Okay, so I mean distance between two words x and y is d of x y. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Okay. Okay. So now let me ask another question. Okay, d of one zero double one zero one and double one zero will be what? 
so see the definition what i have used hamming distance between two words of same size so their size is not same so what can be done very simple one zero double one zero one and then how many bits are there six bits are there so here we have three bits so you will get three zeros very obvious are you getting it so now size is same now you can find one and one one then two okay and then yeah three and then four so hamming distance is four okay so uh, so this type of uh, calculations might take time if you have studied digital you have studied digital or not not yet sir okay so do you know xor operation yes yes sir ah, so a number if bits are different than one if bits is uh, same then it is zero na yes, so sir. you can simply find the xor 10101 and then triple zero double one zero so simply x or one one zero one zero one so count the ones number of ones are four so four is the answer like this done, done. okay yeah so take snapshot uh, so uh, let me write it so having distance can be find by x or operation x or so let me write it hd can be find by x or by x or and count once and count once okay yeah take snapshot i will jump to the next slide done sir okay so now if i do uh, if i give you a question like this d of 101 110 and 10101 now what you really what will you do so see this first of all size is not same 1 2 3 4 5 Uh, three and three, so you have to make five, na. So zero zero one zero one, and then I will say zero zero one one zero, and then one zero one zero one. So now you will find Hamming distance between these two. So what will be the Hamming distance between these two? So see this two. Okay, now Hamming distance between these two, it will be one. Only one, na. Only one. Are you getting it? Yeah. And Hamming distance between these two will be uh, what? One, mm, two, two. Okay, it is two. So you will take the minimum of them. So answer will be one, because there are three answers. Now obviously we cannot have three answers. So if we have more than two code word or we have more than two words, then Hamming distance will be actually the minimum of all. Okay. So HD of uh, more greater than or equal to two words will be minimum HD. Okay, will be minimum HD. So her answer will be one. You cannot say answer is two. Answer is one only. Is it okay? So if we have more than two words, it will be the minimum Hamming distance. You have to take the minimum. Hmm. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Thanks. Okay. So next, they can give you triple zero one zero one 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 zero and zero double one. What will be our answer? Triple zero one zero one 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 zero zero double one. So you, how many combinations you have to check? Four. So four C two. That means six. Are you getting it now? You just have to make the pairs. Okay. So try to do carefully. So this and this two. This and this two. This and this two. I have done very fastly. Triple zero, na? So here two ones, here two ones, here two ones. So obviously two will be the answer. Very simple. Okay. So now this and this. So uh, two. Okay. And this and this one uh, two. Okay. And this and this. So. So by chance it is coming everywhere too. So answer is two. But if somewhere it it was coming say three somewhere one, so you will take the minimum that is one. Okay, so you have to take the minimum. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Answer. Okay, so let me uh, write them directly just to save the time. Five zeros, then zero one, zero double one, one zero one zero one. And four times zero and one. Sorry, four times one and zero. Yeah. So here three, three, four. This and this one, two, three, four. This and this one, two, three. 
this and this one uh, sorry one here two and three so minimum hamming distance will be three d will be three okay yeah take snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay so now see this carefully now i will give you uh, so why we have studied so this hamming distance three, uh, as we have got two as a minimum here only three we have got na? Um, the first one okay sir i wrote it yeah. right, sir, right, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so let me jump to the next slide now so question arises sir why we have studied this hamming distance term here so let me link the topic so we have studied error detection now so for error detection for ed for error detection what should be the minimum hamming distance this question has been asked in gate what should be the minimum hamming distance so for error detection okay so let me say this so error detection so how many bits we want to detect that is also the case now so for example here uh, we were able to uh, detect one bit error okay so yeah here we we have said that we are able to detect one bit error like triple zero was converted to zero 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 one we were able to detect but when triple zero converted to zero double one we were not able to detect the error so now th that means what it can detect one bit error but it cannot detect two bit error so now question arises that uh, uh, what what is the linkage between them okay and how we are able to design these things so let me give you the idea say this zero 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 one one zero one one if this is the case normally this was the uh, data word now so now try to find the hamming distance so, hamming distance of one one here two so here it will be two here it will be one and here it will be one so now minimum hamming distance will be one only okay so d will be one only so now since d is one so even if one bit is affected you cannot guarantee that error will be detected are you getting it so zero zero is converted to zero one if zero zero sender has sent receiver has received zero one zero one is also a valid code word okay that is creating very big problem code word or data word whatever way you want you can say but uh, whatever word sender has sent sender has sent zero zero receiver has received zero one we are not able to detect it why because minimum hamming distance is one so even if one bit is affected we are not able to detect it but if by chance d min is coming to be two then it is guaranteed that we will be able to detect one bit error are you getting it that means uh, between every two uh, code words there will be gap of two minimum two so if one bit is affected then it will be definitely detected are you getting it more than one bit is uh ha, okay let, let me give you the idea let me give you the idea see this this we have done now so here we were getting two as the answer now so now if in place of triple zero receiver has received zero zero one so one bit gap is there now and by guarantee i will say that you will be able to detect it because if it if we have triple zero and here minimum hamming distance is two that means every valid code word will be at a gap of two from triple zero no valid code word is at a gap of one but now here we are having a gap of one so obviously it is not a valid code word and this error will be detected by receiver but if by chance two bits are affected like this we have got so now what i will say guaranteed that this and this gap is two and minimum hamming distance is two so we might get a zero double one as a valid code word and by chance we have zero double one as a valid code word this error is not detected are you getting it Answer. okay so that is the basic scenario so minimum hamming distance 2 means you will be able to detect one bit error similarly minimum hamming distance 3 see this minimum hamming distance was 3 so you will be able to detect two bit error 4 guaranteed okay obviously one bit error you can detect obviously two bit error you can also detect but three bit error you might not be able to detect that let me give you the idea so four uh, five zeros so now if one bit is affected and receiver has received this so you, so it will definitely say uh, uh, it is not matching anywhere okay uh, uh, four times zero and one is not matching this is guaranteed why because d min is three so 
three bit gap is guaranteed. Okay, in the code word, three bit gap is guaranteed. But here you have only one bit gap, so it is it is an invalid code word for sure. Similarly, one, two, three, four, five. If receiver has received this, now it is guaranteed that uh, hamming distance between these two is two. And here minimum hamming distance was three, so every code word will be at a distance of at least three from here. Okay, every code word will be uh, every valid code word will be at a distance of at least three from here. Okay, but you are having uh, hamming distance two, so clearly this will be invalid code word, and you will be able to detect that error for sure. But but if by chance three bits are affected. Then it is not guaranteed like this. You may argue with me, sir. See this. This is five, and this is uh, uh, double zero triple one. Gap of three is there, and we are able to detect it because double zero triple one is not a valid code word. But I have not said that only last three bits are affected. Somewhere else they can be affected, like this zero one zero one one. Now what will you do? It is a valid code word, and you are stuck. So for three, it is not guaranteed that you will be able to detect it. Now, since it is not guaranteed, so you will say no, I cannot detect three bit error because with guarantee you have to say, okay, if I say uh, this uh, this system can detect three bit error, so you will be able to say with guarantee that any three bits can be affected and we are able to detect that error. But no, it is not guaranteed here. Okay, that is the biggest problem. So directly and directly, I think you have got the point that uh, if minimum hamming distance is three, so with guarantee you will be able to detect two bit error. But three bit error, question mark, big question mark. One bit, hundred percent for sure. When we are able to detect two bit error, then obviously you will be able to detect one bit error also. But for three bit, it is not guaranteed. Okay. So now, now I can is okay. Take snapshot. Answer. Okay, and the previous one also, I think you have uh, taken, na? Okay. okay. So I, 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 yeah, I have not written that much here. Yeah. So now with guarantee, I will say if D min minimum Hamming distance is say k, then how many errors can be detected? Error detected will be k minus one. Minus one. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So and they can ask like this also. If error detection error error detection is k bits, then what will be the ham, minimum hamming distance? K plus one. Okay. Both way they can ask. Okay. Yeah. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Done, sir. Okay. So now, what about error correction? For error correction. For error correction. Uh, if we want to uh, correct, say k bit error, then uh, d min d min should be two k plus one. It should be two k plus one. I'm not going into the proof and all because it will simply waste our time. For our, our oh, your voice is breaking. Okay, down. okay. I think uh, screen share is uh, sharing has gone. Now we can see the screen. Uh, but I have got a camera sound when screen share has gone. We I got the sound. Okay, so uh, now I have to the slide. Are you able to see it? Nice. Uh, so has gone. Is visible, sir. No screen is visible, but uh, I have changed the slide, so I think it has freezed. So let me. Um, it is not responding. Wait for one or two minutes. Let me check that out. Okay, so I am leaving the meeting and I I will join meeting again. Yeah, so I have changed the screen. Are you able to see my uh, cursor moving? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Okay, so error detection uh, k the d min is two k plus one for error correction for error correction of k weights d min should be two k plus one. I am not going into the proof, so I will just give you a small hint. Okay, so oh ho oh, again gone. What is happening here? yeah so uh, so i i will just give you a small hint uh, like you can imagine like a circle okay so this is k so diameter is 2k na so you have to go outside so that's why we will take 2k plus 1 if this is k then k plus k that is 2k 2k plus 1 we will take so circle means everywhere positive negative everywhere you have to take Okay, that's why that's how we have got two k plus one. And if I dig deep into the proof and all, it will simply waste our time. If you want to uh, to get more idea, you can see the Forozen book. Okay, in Forozen, uh, it is properly given how it is done and all. But forget about it. Really, it is not required. If it it was required, then I I should have given you the proof and all. Okay, so for error correction of uh, k, uh, minima Hamming distance should be two k plus one. You have to remember this thing. Okay, so now they can ask opposite also. Like, uh, uh, if they have uh, d min is k, if minimum Hamming distance is k, then how many errors can it can correct? K minus one by two. So I hope you have got it. If anybody is having any doubt, please let me know. Yes, sir. yes, it does. Okay, okay, yes, good. So take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Okay, yeah, and and one more thing, one more thing. Uh, see this. Here, here we have done na three minimum Hamming distance was three, so we are able to uh, correct one bit error. One bit error correct. We can do it because Hamming minimum Hamming distance was three, so I think you have got it now. How how many error it can correct? Three minus yeah, one by the one one bit error it can correct. Yeah, so that's it. This is all about detection and correction. And uh, now we are going to start linear block codes. Actually, we are uh, we are still in error detection and correction. We have to study now techniques. Formally, we will study the techniques. I have just given you the idea. Now we are going to study the techniques. Okay, so uh, linear block codes. Linear block codes. So what are linear block codes? Linear block codes are a special type of block codes. We are studying block coding. Nah? Block coding means uh, you will uh, divide the message into fixed and equal size parts called block. We will add the redundant bits and make code words. So in place of sending data word, we will send the code word and so on. Whatever study we have studied till now, that was block coding only. So now we are going to study a special type of block codes called linear block code. So what are these linear block codes? So linear block code means if XOR of if XOR of any two valid code word produce a valid code word. If this is the scenario, then we will say it is a linear block code. Are you getting it? So you do XOR operation of any two valid code word. And if it is producing a valid code word, then 100% we will say it is a linear block code. For example, let me give you an idea. Uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So I, I want to say, is this linear block code? So let me check that out. So I will do XOR. So you do XOR of this and this. Pairwise XOR. So obviously you will get 0, double 1. It is a valid code word. Uh, XOR of this and this, you will get 101 valid code word. Again, you will get a valid code word, 110 as it is. This and this, 110. Yes, 110, it is a valid code word. This and this, 011. 011 is a valid code word. And uh, what we have left out? Uh, this and this, we have left out. This and this, you check. 101. Uh, one. Yes, 101 one is a valid code word. So everywhere, so you can do XOR of any two code word, any two valid code word, you should get a valid code word only. So here we have to check 4C2 combination and after checking 4C2 combination, we arrived at a conclusion that it is a linear block code. 
so now what is the advantage of linear block code if in if in gate exam they say that it is a uh, example of linear block codes and generally uh, you will get a linear block codes only okay so for error detection and correction linear block codes are used only because non linear block codes are very difficult to handle okay so we need lot of mathematics and all so generally linear block codes are used for error detection and correction let me give you yeah, write that point okay so generally lbc are used okay because n lbc non linear block codes are difficult to handle okay they are very difficult to handle so we will not study them we will study lbc only so now in gate exam if they explicitly mention that they it is linear block codes and they want you to find d min then for d min here you need to check four c2 combination but now we have a shortcut for lbc d min will be minimum number of ones in any non zero code word so here it is a zero code word so leave it so it is a non zero code word number of ones are two now it is a uh, non zero code word number of ones are two it is non zero code word number of one, uh, ones are two so everywhere two to two so no problem i will say minimum hamming distance is two so no need to check four c2 combination and all so this is the shortcut so what is the shortcut d min will be d min will be minimum number of ones minimum number of ones in non zero code word okay minimum number of ones in non zero code word okay so le let me give you another example in fact the example which we have done till now let me let me write it again okay so here i am writing 1 2 3 4 5 0 s and here 0 1 0 1 1 Here one zero one zero one and here four times one and zero. So I am saying you that it is a linear block code. So how you will find d min? D min will be minimum number of ones in non-zero code. Word. This is zero code word. Leave it. Here three. Here three. Here four. So minimum is three. So you will say d min is three. So simple. Yes. Any doubt? Please let me know. Yes, sir. Okay, now, so take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide, and now I will show you few examples of linear block codes. Done. Okay. Okay. So let's study few examples of LBC. so all these are in gate syllabus so uh, uh, examples which i am going to write all these are in gate syllabus so we have to study them properly first is simple parity check code simple parity check code next is 2d parity check code to okay 2d is not in your gate syllabus so we will not study that uh, next will be hamming codes Hamming codes. Yeah. Next is cyclic codes, and the last will be checksum. Okay. So these are the four examples of linear block codes which we are going to study. Okay, and all of them are very important, and questions have been asked in gate from these topics. So we will study one by one. So first is simple parity check code. So uh, take snapshot. Uh, in the next slide, we will start simple parity check code. Okay. Simple parity check code. So what it is saying? It is saying simple one bit. Uh, one. Uh, you can say one parity bit. Okay, one parity bit is added to D W to make C W. So only one parity bit is added to data word to make the code word. Uh, we are studying block coding only, lah. Uh, see, first of all, we are studying. block coding and then i have given you idea of linear block coding so linear block coding is a special type of block coding and what we are doing in block coding we are dividing the data into fixed parts uh, fixed size parts called blocks or 
data word okay now we add some redundant bits or extra bits to it to make the code word so here we will add one parity bit so this parity bit you can consider it as a redundant redundant or extra redundant or extra okay so one extra bit or redundant bit is added which is known as parity bit uh, to the data word to make the code word okay so forget about length of the data word data word length can be of say 100 bits 200 bits whatever may be the length we will add only and only one parity bit to it to make the code word okay so if uh, data word is of n bits so if data word is of say n bits so code word will be of n plus 1 bits so simple okay so this is the scenario so now what will be the value of this parity bit that will that question will come to your mind okay so for example data word is 00011011 okay so two bit we have taken so two bit block so that is data word so now to make the code word so first question will be where this parity bit will be added or where this extra bit will be added so position so question number one question number one will be you have got the idea that we have to add one extra bit so question number one will be position where it should be the added and second question will be value what will be the value of this bit so position can be either start or end it hardly matters to me you can add anywhere value value depends on whether you are using even parity or odd parity even parity means number of ones should be even odd parity means number of ones should be odd so now if i want to write code word and uh, uh, i am using say even parity even parity and i am adding at the end position is end we are using even parity so uh, so let me write it so 00011011 as it is and here i will write dash so in dash i will fill because i have add position is end so even even means number of one should be even so here i will add zero so number of one should be even so here we have uh, one so i will add one so here i will add one so here i will add zero please let me know if anybody is having any doubt here Understood, sir. okay so same thing see now i have told you now that i i will tell you after a few slides how we have got it see this same position is at the end okay so 00011011 so 0110 okay same we have got it okay so yeah so similarly we can have a code word for odd parity okay code word odd parity and let us suppose we say at the start so code word so first of all we'll write this 00011011 and here we will add so uh, odd now so i will add one here zero here zero and here one any doubt here no sir okay now so you can take the snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay yes so now now see this if uh, forget about even parity or odd parity now my question is for simple parity check code simple parity check code can detect how many errors it can detect how many errors so how you will answer it so you will try to find the d min so whatever d min is coming you will subtract one for from it and you will say okay these many errors have been detected so let me write it so how we have written so uh, okay so let me write it here so even parity at the end so 0 1 1 1 0 1 okay 1 1 0 so now try to find the d min i think we have uh, we have find it out already now 2 2 2 here 2 2 and 2 please try to uh, link i have done already done it so demon is coming to be two so obviously how many error it can detect it can detect only one bit error okay and correction zero no it cannot correct because minimum hamme distance is two na so if minimum hamme distance is two then how it can correct error to correct error minimum hamme distance should be at least three na so if minimum hamme distance is three then you will be able to correct one bit error 
are you getting it now so uh, yeah so it cannot correct any error it can detect uh, detect error and that is of one bit only so now let me give you more idea okay so for example say this is your code word 10101101101 okay and forget about position of uh, uh, parity bit and all i am simply saying we have used even parity so now please tell me whether there is some error or not how you will check you will simply say even parity we have used na so check uh, number of ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 seven ones are there we have used even parity so number of ones should be even but here we have odd so i will simply say there is some error error is there are you getting it yes sir but where is the error i do not know okay so now i can say one more thing to you okay so for example say this is a valid okay let me jump to the next slide take snapshot copy hmm so for example i say 10101010111 so this is a valid code word which you have sent okay this is a valid code word which you have sent but received is 11110111 0 so and and i'm saying 1 2 3 4 5 6 so even parity we have used we have used the even parity so now here we will check number of ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so here we have got uh, 7 so i will say error is there i cannot find the position where error is there because if i am able to find the position then i can obviously complement the bit and we will be able to correct the error but definitely we are able to say that there is an error and because here we have got the number of ones are odd so now if you try to match with it you will say sir this is uh, this is done and this is the error what we have done okay so one bit error it, it is able to detect and that is for sure it will be able to detect one bit error now what because dimin is two okay we have studied dimin is two so obviously it will be 100% you will be able to detect one bit error now question arises what if say three bits are affected so let me say this so 111110011 so how many bits are affected so this zero has become one 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 bit is affected here and then this zero has become one and another error is there yeah this one has become zero so three errors are there three bit error is there so now uh, it can detect that error yes 100% it can detect it why see the number of ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 again odd again it is odd parity so if it if we have one bit error it can simply detect it if we have three bit error even then it can detect it can you give me the reason why three bit error is detected reason is very simple see this forget about even parity or odd parity for example if we say we have even parity and any odd number of error occurs like 1 3 5 7 and so on so from even if i subtract odd but i will get odd so even is disturbed and we have got odd so we will be able to detect the error but if we have done even number of errors like 2 2 bit error 4 bit error 6 bit error and so on even minus even is even so even has remained even only we will not be able to detect it so this is detected this is not detected so odd number of error are detected even number of error are not detected same is the case with odd parity also if we have odd parity and odd number of error occur we will get an even answer so odd has changed to even so we will be able to detect it and if we have uh, even number of error odd minus even is odd only odd has remain odd so we will not be able to detect it okay so what is the speciality of simple parity check code it can detect one bit error three bit error five bit error and so on so it can detect all odd bit error forget about whether we are using even parity or odd parity 
because it hardly matters to me okay because even if we have even parity then we subtract odd number of uh, errors we will get odd only okay so from even we have got odd so parity disturbed we are able to detect it similarly if we have odd parity and odd number of error occurred odd minus odd is even so parity is disturbed so finally we will say yeah we have detected error so what is the final summary final summary is that simple parity check code simple parity check code can detect odd number of errors like 1 3 5 7 9 and so on okay but no even num even number of but even number of error cannot be detected okay but even number of errors can't be detected if anybody is having any doubt please let me know otherwise i will jump to the next slide yes any doubt no sir okay so you have taken the snapshot okay yeah and and one more important point for simple parity check code i think i have written that already it is error detecting code it cannot correct error so here i have done it now so uh, okay so in the summary i will simply write simple parity check code spcc that was because uh d min was two yeah spcc uh it can only uh it is error detecting code let me write it like this it is error detecting code error detecting code okay uh, that is it can't correct error it can't correct error okay it is error detecting code that is it can't uh, correct error because d min is equal to 2 that's why okay and why d min is 2 that is also very obvious see this initially if we have 0 0 next is 0 1 okay after 0 0 we will get 0 1 now so now here parity if we are assuming even parity then here we will have 0 but here we will have one so one bit gap here one will gap here next is one zero now since we are getting one zero so uh, what i will say even because of even parity here we will add one so now because of parity there is no gap but still there is two bit gap here then one one we will uh, say zero 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 one one zero one one now so one one i will say parity bit will be zero so here no gap but here we have a gap now only one gap is there because uh, between one zero and one one but next gap next bit gap will be because of parity are you getting it so everywhere two 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 okay so that's why d min is two okay take snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay so yeah so now we are going to start a simple parity check code is over so what was the next yeah this is over now we are going to start hemming codes this is important many times question have been asked and it is it is quite big big also it is not difficult it is quite big so try to focus here if you lose the focus then you will not be able to understand this topic okay so from scratch from from the starting point you have to understand this properly Hamming code first important point is it is error correcting code error correcting code okay and how many error it can correct error correcting code one bit error one bit error it can correct okay so now uh, it can it detect error Hamming code can detect error also 100% when it is error correcting obviously it is detecting also okay so it can detect error also obviously it can detect error can detect error also 
do not say sir it is not error detecting it cannot detect error no 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 it can obviously detect when obviously it is correcting then how it is not detecting that is for sure it can detect error also okay so now uh, uh, we will study this topic question by question okay so first is since it is error correcting code since it is error correcting code so obviously we have to add extra redundant bits okay so rather we, we we should say we should have more number of redundant bits because for error detection uh, we can add uh, less bits also because uh, we are concerned with error answer is yes or no we are not concerned with position or where error is there we are not concerned with that now since here we are concerned with position also so we have to add more redundant bits so first is since it is error correcting code so we have to add so we have to add more redundant bits more redundant bits okay so redundant means extra or, or you can call them as parity bits okay parity bits extra bits redundant bits one and the same thing so first question will come to your mind sir what do you mean by more what is the exact number how many bits you should add so question number one is how many parity bits added how many parity bits added to dw to make cw okay, dw is data word cw is code word okay so how many parity bits should be added to dw to make cw okay so for that we have equation 2 power k is greater than or equal to n plus k plus 1 where n is the number uh, uh, data word number of bits in data word and, sorry and k is the uh, number uh, parity bits okay how many parity bits are added so that is given by relation 2 power k greater than or equal to n plus k plus 1 2 power k is greater than or equal to n, n plus k plus 1 that is the relation so for example let me give you idea take snapshot done okay so for example you take n is equal to 4 so that means data word is of length 4 like data word can be say 1011 so how many parity bit will be added so you will say 2 power k is greater than or equal to n plus k plus 1 so 4 plus k plus 1 so what value you can put so for example if you put k is equal to 1 so 2 power 1 is greater than equal to 4 plus 1 plus 1 no 2 power k is equal to 2 power 2 is greater than equal to 4 plus 2 plus 1 no 2 power 3 is greater than equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1 yes so k is equal to 3 why because 2 power 3 is greater than equal to 4 plus 3 plus 1 k and k same na so you have to put same 3 and 3 so equation is matching so done k will be equal to 3 so first we have answered the first question that means number of parity bits added should be 3 now second question is sir what is the position where you should add them so all the three are added at the end all the three are added at the start or some at start some at middle where where we should add so what is the position so position is power of 2 power of 2 that means i will say p1 p2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 okay so uh, uh, 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 okay so see this uh, data word is of 4 4 length na so d7 d6 d5 d3 so 4 4 4 bits are data bits okay so parity bits where we have to add power of 2 so 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 okay so if you are not able to see you, you uh, if you are not able to uh, grab it let me give you the idea seven bits so total four bits are uh, data word and parity bits are seven uh, three so four plus three seven so one two three four five six seven okay so now what is the power of two position this is two power zero na so it will be p1 this is uh, two power one na so it will be p2 it is not power of two so i will add d3 it is power of 2 so i will add p4 here d5 here d6 here d7 now please let me know if anybody is having any doubt
I think one more time explain. Okay, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. So first thing is how many? So uh, first thing was that it is error correcting code. So we have to add more redundant bits. So this more was creating problem. How many? So for that first question was how many parity bits should be added to the data word to make the code word. So for that we have equation two power k is greater than equal to n plus k plus one. So where n is the data word or number of data bits and k is the parity bits. So let let us suppose n is equal to four. That means data word is of four length. So I have assumed one zero double one. So now I will say two power k is greater than equal to four plus k plus one. So k will be equal to three because two power k is greater than equal to four plus three plus one. If k is equal to two, I I am not able to solve. If k is equal to one, no, this equation is not matching. So for two power three, it is matching. So two power three is greater than equal to four plus three plus one. So three redundant bits should be added. So now question arises. Arises. This is four bit data word. Three redundant bits we have to add. So where where we should add? Either at the start or at the end or at the middle. Where? So for that, I have said you power of two. Power of two is the position of uh, parity bits. So now please see, four is the data word length, and three parity bits are added. So four plus three is equal to seven. Seven will be the length of code word. So I will write seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what are the power of two position? This is first position. Two power zero is one, na p one. Two power one is two, na so p two. Okay, so now here this is third position. Third position is not power of two. So you add the data bit. That is say the three. Is it not power of two. Uh, that's why I didn't answer. No, uh, three is power of two. Which power of two is three? Two power x is equal to three. So find the value of x. Okay. Okay. So uh, why why two is power of two? Two power x is equal to two. So two power one x is one. That's it. Okay, so y one is power of two. Two power x is equal to two power zero. So x is equal to zero. Right, sir. Understood, sir. Yeah. So three is not power of two. So we will add d three. Four is power of two. Two power two is four. So we will say p four. Then d five. Five is not power of two. Six is not power of two. Seven is not power of two. Eight is power of two, but eight is not needed here. Okay, because seven bit total. Understood, sir. Okay, okay. So now finally we have got the position. Now third question is what is the value? That is obvious question. Now we have find the position. Now in order to find the code word, we should know the values. So how to find the value? Let me add that question. Take snapshot. Answer. Okay. So question number three, value. So uh, so I will say like this. P one, P two. D three, P four, D five, D six, D seven. So what I have taken D W was one zero double one. So data word was one zero double one. So please write it correspondingly. Last is one na. So I will add one. Here one. Here zero. Here one. Any doubt? One zero double one. Uh huh. Okay. So now how? Uh, what are the value of these parity bits? That is the question. Okay. So for that I will say like this. D seven is nothing but P four plus P two plus P one. See this four plus two plus one is seven. D six is P four plus P two. Four plus two is six. D five P four plus P one. Four plus one is five. D three P two plus P one. Okay, so two plus one is three. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Now you simply reverse them. So P one, where we are getting P one, D seven, D five, D three. This is the position. Or, I mean, this is the value. P two, where we are getting P two, D seven, D six, D three. Where we are getting P four, D seven, D six. D five. What is D seven? One. What is D five? One. What is D three? One. By default, you will take even parity. If nothing is given, you will take even parity. Because of even parity, this will be one. D seven is one. D six is zero. D three is one. Because of even parity, this will be zero. D seven, one. D six is zero. D five is one. So because of even parity, this will be zero. 
So finally, we have got the value. So now you will put them and get the answer. So what is the P4? P4 is 0. What is the P2? 0. What is P1? 1. So finally, this is the code word. Okay, they will simply give you data word is given, find the code word. So code word is this 1010101. Any doubt? Can you explain once again how the parity bits were decided? Uh -huh, uh -huh, no problem. So for value, position, any doubt? Question number two? Yes. Is it okay? Okay. Yeah. So question number three. So for value, what we will say D7, D6, D5, D3. So uh, see this 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1. 6 is 4 plus 2, 5 is 4 plus 1, 3 is 2 plus 1. So you, you simply add them. 2 plus 1 is 3, 4 plus 1 is 5 and so on. So uh, if you have, uh, uh, we are simply finding the binary. 7 binary is what? Triple 1. So 4, 2, 1. 6 is 4, 2. 5 is 4, 1. 3 is 2, 1. Any doubt here? Please let me know. Okay. So th if this is okay, now you just reverse them. So for P1, find where P1 was there in D7, in D5, and in D3. We were having P1. So I have written that. P2. Where P2 is there, please find. D7, D6, D3. Where P4 is there? 7, 6, and 5. And now we have assumed even parity. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. So now uh, you take uh, the snapshot. Finally, we have got uh, uh, this code word that is 1010101. So I will solve one or two more questions. You will get more clarity. Okay. Yeah. Take the snapshot. So first, I am doing the simple things. There are a variety of questions from this topic. I am doing the simple thing. First is what? Data word is given. You are trying to find the code word. That is very, very simple scenario. We are doing that only. Take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Okay. So now, for example, uh, let me take a, a data word of four length only. Say 1100. Zero, zero. If this is the data word, find the code word. So try to answer questions. Question number one was how many? So for how many, 2 power k is greater than or equal to n plus k plus 1. So 2 power k is greater than or equal to 4 plus k plus 1. Data word is of length 4. So k comes out to be 3. Question number 2, position. Position is power of 2. So uh, p1, p2, d3, p4, d5, d6, d7. Put the value. d7 is 1, d6 is 1, d5 is 0, d3 is 0. So we want to find P4, P2, P1. So for that, we will write D7 is equal to... P, uh, so, okay, so now now try to do the uh, shortcut. 7 is what? 4, 2, 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1. 4, 2, 1. 6 is 4, 2. 4 plus 2 is 6, na? 5 is 4, 1. 3 is uh, 2, 1. For data word, we are doing only, okay? For data word, we are doing. So now P1, P1 will be what? 7, uh, D7, D5, D3. P2, P2 will be D7, D6, D3. P4, P4 will be uh, D7, D6, D5. Now write them. D7 is 1, D5 is uh, 0, D3 is 0. So you will fill z uh, 1 here because of even parity. If nothing is given, you will take even parity. Next, D7 is 1, uh, D6 is 1, D3 is 0, so you will put 0. D7 is 1, D6 is 1, D5 is 0, so you will put 0. So finally, we have got it. So I will put the value P4 is 0, P2 is 0, P1 is 1. So this is our code word. So code word final answer is double one zero 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 one. I think uh, there is no doubt, na. And I have done in very few, uh, uh, less than one minute. So at gate exam, you will be able to do very fastly. Don't worry about it. This is not a big question. It is very small question. Okay.
so just try to condense the thing take snapshot i will jump to the next slide done done sir okay so now let me take a big data word for example data word is given to you as 100110 so 6 i have taken roughly so 6 i have taken so uh, uh, question number 1 number of parity bits 2 par k is greater than equal to n plus k plus 1 so k is 6 to so 6 what should be added here so if you add 3 here so 2 par 3 is greater than equal to 6 plus 3 plus 1 no obviously it is not matching Okay, because it is ten here, it is eight. So what should be done? Two power four is greater than equal to six plus four plus one. This is correct. So you will add four. So k is equal to four. So question number two, position. Position is power of two. So I will write it. So six plus four. This is six and this is four. Ten. Ten you have to write. So I will say p one, p two, d three, p four, d five, d six, d seven. Now P eight. Do not write D eight because it is power of two. Then D nine and then D ten. So one to ten, total ten bits we have done. So I will write correspondingly. D one D ten is one. D nine is zero. P eight I will I will write it after few minutes. D seven is zero. Then one. Then one. And then zero. Okay. So these positions are empty. So how we will do it? So one by one, D ten. Please let me know D ten. So ten, uh, I I will write it like this. Ten is what? Eight plus two. Okay, and please uh, 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 do not say sir if any other combination is there. No other combination will be there. That is for sure. Okay, eight plus two is only one com uh, one combination. Okay, no other combination for ten. Eight plus two ten. Nine, eight plus one. Then uh, what after nine? Uh, seven. Do not write eight here, please. Okay, we are just writing data data bits. Seven. Seven is four plus. Uh, rest is same. Four plus two plus one. Six is four plus two. Five is four plus one. Three is two plus one. Okay. So now, uh, what we will do? What we will say? We will say uh, P one. P one will be dash, and then here I will write D nine. D seven, D five, D three. All odd, all odd will be P one, P two, D ten, D seven, D six, D three, P four. For P four, uh, D seven, D six, D five. Yeah. Okay. So finally, D nine. Put the value zero. D seven is zero. D five is one. D three is zero. So here I will add one. Uh, where D eight? P P eight sir. P eight. Sorry for that. Yes, yes. Very good. P eight we forgot. So for P eight it will be D ten, D nine. Okay. So P uh, one uh, is over. Uh, what about P two? D ten. What is D ten? One. D seven is zero. D six is one. D six is one. D three is zero. So here I will add zero. Next, D seven is zero. D six is one. D five is one. So here I will add zero. D ten is one. And D nine is zero. Here I will add one. So we have got the answer. P eight is one. P four is zero. P two is zero. P one is one. So finally, this is our code word. So final answer code word is this. So I hope uh, you have done sufficient practice, and uh, I hope nobody is having any doubt. Do I need uh, Do I need to solve any uh, one more question, or everything is fit and fine? No, sir. We understood. I understood. Okay. 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 So, any anybody else is having any doubt? Please let me know. Okay. So, I am assuming there is no doubt. So now I will do 
reverse type of question okay so let me show you reverse type of question so reverse type of question will be validity of code word they will say which of the following code word is valid validity of code word like they will say 10101 and they are saying is it a valid code word they will say hamming codes and all they will give you the proper theory and all i am not writing that just to save the time they are simply saying whether this is a valid code word or not so how you will check the valid code word so you just do the reverse procedure what is the reverse procedure you will simply write it here p1 p2 d3 then d4 sorry p4 p4 d5 d6 d7 so you you simply write that i think there is no doubt okay so p1 p2 d3 p4 d5 d6 d7 if something is extra you will write p8 then d9 d10 d11 d12 d13 d14 and so on you will keep on writing so there is no problem now you will you will try to do the reverse thing what is that so we have already done 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1 then 6 is 4 plus 2 5 is 4 plus 1 3 is 2 plus 1 so i will write p1 p2 p4 values you try to calculate p1 where where we are having p1 where we are having 1 7 5 3 where we are having 2 7 6 3 where we are having 4 7 6 5 okay so write them d7 is 1 d5 is 1 d3 is 1 so p1 should be 1 and please check what p1 we have in the code word 1 so i will write corresponding correction bit c1 it will be 0 okay correction bit will be 1 when we are having a difference next d3 D three is one. D six is zero. D seven is one. So P two should be zero. What is P two? Zero. So I will write C two is zero. D seven one. D six zero. D five one. P four should be zero. But what P four we are having? One. So C four should be one. What is the position? One double zero. One double zero. That is nothing but four. Binary, na? One double zero binary is four. So fourth bit is error. So this is an error. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Okay. I I will solve uh, one or two more questions. Don't worry about it. Please take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. I will solve one more question. You will get crystal clarity. Then the last last list that we did, that C1 to C1 is equal. Ha ha. That is the actual way the uh, the digits should be placed. Yeah. So P1 should be one, and here also we are having one. So correction is zero. P2 we have calculated is zero. Yeah. I and agree. here it was zero, so it is zero. P4 we have calculated zero, but it is coming to be one. So C4 is one. so you will write it oppositely okay so 100 binary so 4 4 is the answer it is the error okay uh, now like let what should huh? be the answer to not to have an error okay so uh, every correction will should be zero i will i will give i will solve that questions also don't worry uh, now understood uh, take snapshot i will jump to the next slide perfect sir hmm So next is say one 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 zero one zero one. Is it a valid code word? Valid C W. So for that I will simply write P one, P two, D three, P four, D five, D six, D seven. If something was extra, I will write here P eight, then D nine and so on. But here it is not there. No problem. 
and anyway they will give you seven or seven many times seven has been come that means seven bit code word but if extra is given then we have to do it no need to worry okay so same same thing again so uh, so what we will do so i will simply write so if you are able to remember see this if you are able to remember this thing seven is this and also if you are able to remember this p1 p2 p3 753 763 765 you will be able to solve that question in get exam very very easily are you getting it so one is very easy seven five and three odd two so try to imagine uh, in which binary two will come seven for seven two will come okay because four plus two plus one for six four plus two three two plus one so seven six three and here seven six five so for four where four will come obviously in seven because four plus two plus one then six four plus two five four plus one if you are able to remember this no need to do this step you can skip it so directly you will write and directly you will get the answer so let me do that so what i will say i will write here p1 p2 p4 by imagination i will write d7 d5 d3 odd odd only p2 so in seven we will have in six we will have in five five two will not be there in three it will be there four so in seven then in six and then five any doubt if if uh, if you are able to uh, map it with binary you can map that with binary also so like seven binary is triple one okay so four two one okay and then six binary is double one zero four plus two is six five binary is four plus one three binary is zero double one so now you can by imagination you will see seven okay for uh, so for one na for one that means last bit one so last bit one means odd two that means second bit so try to imagine the binary of numbers and you will say second bit one where seven six and three in five it is not there because five it is one zero one for four you will say the first bit should be one so in seven six and five forget about three because three plus uh, three is less than four so it will be zero only so seven six five now you have got it so now it is very easy seven one five one three one so it should be zero sorry it should be one what about p1 p1 is one so c1 is zero d7 is one d6 is one d3 is one is it okay na yeah and what should be it it should be one c2 is what uh, p2 should be one calculated is one and here we have zero so it will be one c4 one 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 so it should be one what is p4 zero so correction is one so you say one one zero one one zero is six so error is in sixth bit so this is the error okay so finally valid code word will be so you will say no it is not valid code word so what will be the valid code word you have find the position you simply complement it you will get the answer so what is the valid code word one zero one zero one zero one that's it any doubt yeah the valid code like how did we write last 101010 was also corrected right uh one by one please ask F first uh, what you were saying so how did we get this valid code 101010 this bit was error na so this was the error sixth bit Achha. So you simply negate it. Without so system. one will be zero. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. Please. Uh, other doubt. Is it not like here P two is uh, zero in the given code word and uh, uh -huh. calculation P two should be one. One. Uh huh. And P four is also uh, varying. Mm hmm. So, so correction was one. That's why correction was one. So no, now no, correction the count is corrupted, corrupted, and uh, sixth bit error. I, I am not getting this. Sir. 
ओके सो आई आई एम सिंपली से करेक्शन वन इज जीरो करेक्शन टू इज वन करेक्शन फोर इज वन यू हैव गॉट दिस थिंग ड And here also we have one, so no need of correction, so it is zero. Okay. Yeah. So now you you binary uh, you decimal it one one zero binary decimal will be six. Okay. So sixth bit is the error. But so D six. Hmm. That P two should P two is and P four is cor are corrected uh, corrupted. Yeah. And uh, now you are saying that after just flipping the sixth bit, we get the valid code word. I am not getting this. <laughs> so you need to have proof of it. Proof it. Proof is very mathematical. We are not going into the proof that why after all why it is working and all these things. Hmm. Okay, so it is not required for it. Don't worry. Okay, so you have to remember this thing only. So this is the simple procedure. Simple procedure is that. Wherever we have uh, 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 correction is there, so you write that. Uh, you write that, and you you simply uh, binary it, and you will get the answer. Or you you find the decimal, and you will get the answer. So one one zero. Hmm. Now, if you finally check this one zero one zero one, whether it is a valid code with the same method. Ah, uh, so you you will get all the correction as zero. I I will do it. Don't worry. I will do it in the next next question only. Don't worry. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, now, any doubt? Please let me know. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So I am not going into the proof of it. It is really not required for gate, and it is really very difficult. Okay. Don't worry about it. Simply leave it. Okay. So I am jumping to the next slide, and now I will I will solve this question only. One zero one zero one zero one. One zero one zero one zero one. Yeah. So is it a valid code word or not? So what we will do? P one, P two, D three, P four, D five, D six, D seven. So I will simply write P one, P two, P four. So P one. So where we will get D seven, D five, D three. P two, D seven, uh, D six, D three. P four. Uh, P four will be D seven. uh then uh, d mm, 6 d5 so please write it d7 is 1 d5 is 1 d3 is 1 so here you will get 1 and what we have 1 so c1 will be 0 d7 is 1 d6 is 1 d3 is 1 okay so d6 is 0 so what we should get 0 and uh, uh, p2 is 0 only So correction bit is zero. D seven is one. D six is zero. D five is one. So we should get zero. And here also P four is zero. So C C four is also zero. So all are zeros. So it is a valid code word. Okay. Yeah. Now please take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Done. Done, sir. Okay. Yes. So uh, now uh, this is all about Hamming codes, and now next is uh, see the list. So simple Petitcher code is over. Hamming code is over. Next is cyclic code. So let me start that. cyclic codes so cyclic code means uh if we have a valid code word okay it, it and by the way it is also linear block code only because we are studying linear block codes only see this types of linear block codes we are doing 
few example of linear block code so it is also linear block code okay so cyclic code means for example if i say we have 101011 this is a valid code word i am assuming that it is a valid code word okay forget about it how we have got it i am just assuming that it is a valid code word cyclic means you can cyclically rotate it left or right any number of times and still we should get a valid code word okay so cyclic code means you you uh, rotate okay rotate any rotate any valid code word uh, left or right any number of times and still we get valid code word cyclic means for example i can rotate it like this this one and this this here 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 and here so what we will get so we will get double one zero one zero one are you getting it you, you simply shift one position to the right you simply shift everything one position to the right after shifting we will have a blank space here so this one will come here so one one zero one zero one please let me know if anybody is having any doubt here sorry sir okay like this so you can i have shifted one position to the right you can shift two position three position four position whatever position you want you can write you can rotate and we have done right uh, right uh, uh, shift you can do left shift also don't worry so right or left whatever you do okay so if this is a valid code word for sure it should be a valid code word okay that is the basic meaning of cyclic codes any doubt no sir okay so now question arises how we will get the code word so we have a data word with us we want to find a code word okay like already we have done so a code word was uh, said data word was 1011 and code word we have find to be 10101 in case of hamming codes hamming codes we have done just now so data word we were having and we are able to find the code word so now how data word is given how you will find the code word for the cyclic codes that is the question okay so now data word is given and how you will find code word for the cyclic codes that is the question so for that we have a proper procedure called crc or cyclic redundancy check that is very important and many times question have been asked from it so try to do that carefully take snapshot i will jump to the next slide okay sir okay so now we are going to start crc that is cyclic redundancy check cyclic redundancy check so for what it is used okay so we have a code word and we want to find the sorry we have a data word we have a data word and we want to find the code word so what is the process for this cyclic codes what is the process so that process is crc so how we will do it so we we are having what given in the question what should be given to you data word you should have a data word and we should have a divisor data word and divisor and what you want to find you want to find the code word okay so let me uh, build the background first okay so data word let us suppose it is of n bits and divisor is of k bits divisor is of k bits so what will be the length of the code word code word length will be n plus k minus 1 first of all you should know this thing data word is of n bits divisor is of k bits code word will be of n plus k minus 1 bits is it okay how we will get it don't worry we will study that okay so this simple question can be asked in crc if data word is of n bit divisor is of k bit what will be the size of the code word size of the code word will be n plus k minus 1 is it okay Hmm. Similarly, 
okay similarly they can ask reverse question also if you are able to do this thing you will be able to do this also code word is of say n plus k sorry code word is of n directly they will say code word is of length n okay divisor is of length k they will ask reverse question also divisor is of length k so what will be the length of data part reverse question so answer will be code word minus k minus 1 like this so you will get n minus k plus 1 now you have got it please let me know if anybody is having any doubt here so what we have done here code word length was k minus 1 added with the n na? if data word is of n divisor is of k you have added k minus 1 bits to get the code word so to get the data word you will simply do the reverse procedure so you will subtract this thing na? are you getting it so that's why i have subtracted k minus 1 from it here k minus 1 added so here k minus 1 subtracted so i have simply subtracted k minus 1 and what i have get n minus k plus 1 please let me know if anybody is having any doubt understood sir okay so it, it was very simple data word is n divisor is k code word will be n plus k minus 1 okay so that means k minus 1 bits are added to the data word to get the code word k minus 1 bits are added so now from the code word if you want to go to data word you have to subtract this k minus 1 bits it's very simple now you have added k minus 1 so you will subtract k minus 1 so i have subtracted k minus 1 and i have got it take snapshot i will jump to the next slide and now i will show you why we are getting k minus 1 and all okay so let me take an example so for example data word is 1001 and divisor is say 1011 and they will simply ask you what is the code word so for that what we will do i will write the divisor 1011 okay uh, data word okay first we will write the data word 1001 as it is data word we have written and see the length of the divisor divisor length is 4 so i will append three zeros after it okay so for code word finding what we are doing is step number one append k minus 1 zeros to data word we have done this now step number 2 is modulo 2 division modulo 2 division means you will do xor you will not do subtraction what i want to say is divisor now so you will divide so one zero double one you will divide one double zero one and triple zero okay are you getting it data word was one double zero one divisor was one zero double one we want to find the code word so what is the step one you will append k minus one zero to the data word data word was one double zero one so i have added three zeros or appended three zeros why three zeros because divisor length was three four so i have added three zeros to it that is this so now step number two is modulo two division in modulo two division we do xor what do you mean by this so forget about quotient and all we need we need not do that so i will simply say one zero double one if you do normal division you will say subtract so you will say this is one double zero one this is one zero double one we will not subtract it because one double zero one is nine and uh, uh, one zero double one is eleven so nine minus eleven we cannot do but here we are not concerned about this thing we will simply do the xor so here zero 0 and in place of writing 0 0 you simply cross them cross cross 1 and 0 okay so now you will take here 0 4 you you just add 4 bits so here we are not able to do again i will take this yeah 4 bits are there now do not say sir 4 is uh, this is 8 1 triple 0 is 8 and here we have 11 so we cannot do subtraction and all uh, uh, so we will not do this thing i will simply write 1 double 0 1 0 double 1 and i will do the xor cross cross 1 1 and 0 is there 1 0 is appended so i'm not writing here quotient and all it is not required so finally what we have got one double one zero and nothing is left out so this is our remainder so this remainder will be attached with it 
So what will be the code word? Code will be one double zero one double zero one triple zero, and here double one zero is added to it. So what we will get? One double zero one double one zero. This is my final answer. This is the code word. Please let me know if anybody is having any doubt here. Understood, sir. Okay, so uh, let me jump to the next slide. So steps are very simple. Okay, simply do the division. First step, uh, many students forget this step. Append zeros. That means divisor is of k bits. So k minus one zero is appended. Do the modulo two division. Whatever is the remainder, how you will get, uh, come to know it is remainder? Four bits are here, and here you might get two bits, one bit, whatever you are getting. Here I am by chance getting three bit, no problem. So I will add it. Okay, and finally it will be our code word. Yeah. So let me give you another example. Take the snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. Done. Okay. So, for example, data word is one double zero one one zero one one zero one. Okay, and the divisor is one zero double one. So, find code word. Very simple. So, what you will say one double zero one one zero double one zero one as it is. I have written four bits, so I will add three bits, and then I will try to do the Modulo two division one zero double one. Forget about quotient and all. I really don't care about it. One zero double one. You will simply write. So here, uh, what we we are getting cross cross one zero one zero. We have taken down one zero double one. Cross 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 one 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 zero one zero double one. So what we will do now? Cross one zero one one. So one zero double one cross. Everything is crossed. So you will get here zero 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 three bits. Simply count the bits. Here we have four bit. Here we have three bit. Done. So now what you will do? So what will be our Code word. Code word will be one double zero one one zero double one zero one as it is with three zeros appended and remainder is three zero. You add three zeros to it, no problem. I will add it. Finally, what we will get one zero zero one one zero double one zero one triple zero. This is my final answer. I hope you have got it. Any doubt? Yes, no, sir. Easy. Yeah, take snapshot. I will jump to the next slide. And one more beautiful question I will solve so that uh, everybody get crystal clarity. Okay. okay. So divisor is one zero double one. Data word one zero double one zero one zero double one zero one one zero one. Yeah, this is a good question. So we will start. So one zero double one, one zero double one zero one zero double one zero one one zero one uh, four. So I will append three zeros and I will start. We will do one one zero double one cross. So now you will say zero one zero one. That's it. You do like this only. If you do like this, then I will take one zero one one because I am doing modulo two division. Now here I will get one. Now here one. Here one and here zero, so I will do it again and so on. So it will waste our time. So my concern is that you forget about zeros. Okay, so you can check it out yourself. You you can do by pro pro proper procedure. That means zero one zero one and so on. You will do. You will get the same answer. But I am giving you. So you forget about this zero also. You forget about this. Okay, because it is. Uh, 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 you can say zeros before the number, na? So you can simply ignore, like in decimal number one zero two five. Here zero, you simply ignore it, na? So that's why I am ignoring it. So I will take one zero double one, one zero double one. So again, I will take one zero double one, cross it. So now again, this zero, cross it. So now double one zero one, one zero double one, 
so uh, cross one one zero okay so uh, what we have taken double one zero one now this we have taken now yeah so finally we will take uh, one zero from here and then i will say one zero double one cross one zero 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 one zero double one so cross cross one one zero this is the remainder double one zero so you simply add it and you will get the answer so finally uh, code word will be one zero double one zero one zero double one zero double one zero one 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 zero i have directly written it just to save the time so yeah uh, last part one how is it uh one zero zero so this one huh. one okay i have done mistake one one yes sir okay here zero so we'll say one zero double one so cross and here we will get one now here we will get zero here we will get one and zero so one zero one zero so now we will do one zero double one so these all will be closed and one is the remainder is it okay now yes sir okay so what finally we will get so one is the remainder so triple zero was there and you added one so you will get zero zero one any doubt yes please let me know no sir clear sir okay so okay okay so yeah take snapshot i will jump to the next slide thanks sir hmm. so now how you will check whether we have got a valid code word or not that is again very easy okay so question is how to check received code word is valid or not so are you getting it now so code word is what we what we have sent actually we want to send this data word but in place of sending this i will send this so now i want to check whether this is a valid code word or not when i have received it so what we will do i will do the same procedure on this code word i will do the division and if i get remainder zero then obviously i will say it is a valid otherwise it is not valid is it okay na okay. so how to check received code word is valid or not answer modulo to division modulo to division of code word with divisor if remainder 0 then cw valid else not okay yes. yeah so we can take examples so whatever we have done till now we can copy that ah uh, so that we can cross verify so uh, what we have got so 100 100 100 One double zero triple one zero, one zero double one. So you do it. So one zero double one. So one one. Then we will take one. We will take one. One zero one one. So cross one double zero zero. Oops. What we have done? One double zero actually. So you wrote one one. One double zero triple one zero. One double zero triple zero. After after uh, crossing, so one one zero zero. Last okay, zero. one zero double one. Yeah, sorry for that. Yes. So one one and here we have zero one zero double one. So one zero double one. So I will simply cross it. So everything is crossed, and here 
as the remainder is zero. So that's it. So this is a valid code word. We have one more one, sir. Where? One double zero one for the four digits. Nice, no, sir. Correct, sir. Mm, this one I have taken, na? No? Yes, yes, sir. It's a valid code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is a valid code word. Last but one question also could be checked. Yeah, one more question. Let me do that. No problem. So, uh, so the last one. Last but one. This one. Before that. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, shorter the screen, and here itself we can check. Okay. So. One zero double one. So there only we can show no. Yeah, yeah, but this I have. Zero. Yeah. Uh, we have a division, no, sir. Right there, like the zeros are the remainder. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah, we can say like this also. So th this actually, uh, uh, I I am not showing that way because uh, this was the uh, data yes, word, and we have appended triple zero. So uh, actual procedure should be this. This is the code word which we are going to send. This code word and this is the divisor one zero double one. And now we will do the div uh, division and uh, uh, and fastly we will check that out one zero double one. So cross cross one zero one zero one zero double one. So crossed one. So yeah, and I will take this one. This one and this zero, one zero double one. So cross one zero one. I will take one and I will say one zero double one crossed and finally triple zero. So remainder is triple zero. Yeah, so this is a valid code word. Okay. Yeah, so if, if some remainder is coming, you will say no, it is not a valid code word. And I think we should not waste time here and there for finding the, the, that thing. It will simply waste our time. Any doubt here? No, sir. Okay. Yes, so now we can easily find that out. Okay, so how to check received code word is uh, valid or not? So, modulo to division of code word with divisor. If remainder is zero, then code word is valid. Else, it is not valid. So, you just have to find the remainder. That's it. Yeah, so it was by default coming to be valid and so on. Okay, so now question arises, is this a perfect scheme or something is missing here? So actually time is up. So we will stop here itself. So in the next lecture, we will start whether this CRC is perfect scheme. CRC is perfect scheme or something is missing. So I want to answer this question that we have got the remainder zero. We have got the remainder zero. Now is it guarantee that your code word is valid or some error might be there? That is a question. So you all might be thinking that whenever we have got the remainder zero, it will be guaranteed that code word is valid. But actually it is not. So in the next lecture, we will start from here itself and we will try to prove the things. Okay. Yeah. So if anybody is having any doubt, you can ask me. Otherwise, we will stop the class here itself. No doubt, sir. Okay. Okay, then. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay.